okay so uh, let's look into the missing values for that i have a code that is data is null that's a function that will tell me how many null values are there and let's sum it up sum so that just gives me the amount of the number of blank values we have in that column so at age we have 86 so 400 i guess we had somewhere nearby 418 row points that data points so out of 400 row 80, 86 rows are missing and in fair there is one you can look into there is one missing in fair and then in cavin there's almost 327 rows are missing so let's delete all the rows that are missing values for that the code is again quite easy you just have to change it out a bit so what you have to do is data dot drop any drop any if you know about pandas a bit then you might have known what does drop any do it removes all the uh, rows by default you can check okay, from shift plus tab so what it exactly does so drop any you can mention the access how threshold subset for this by default it removes the rows and then what i'm going to do is in place is equal to true now if i check the same code oops, check the same code and you can see there are no missing values same thing if i check out for this matrix so again you can see that there are no missing values so that's what we can do if we want to remove all the rows that are having missing values now let's rerun this cell let's copy this once more back again so that we can just get out our raw data set so if you want to check our data set once more okay so we have our data set over here so quite old where we haven't done anything now let's look into one more way so impute missing values with mean and median so all the missing values that we are having in this so for fair what we can do is we can add out the medium over here so let's check it out so for age so data let's check it out for age and let's check the first 25 columns okay so the first 25 rows we have two missing values and what how we can correlate it is data let's pass age and let's replace all the np nan okay np nan is uh, to check the missing values that is nan is for empty so what it will do is it will replace all the empty values to replace so all the empty values that we have and what we are going to replace it with we are going to replace it with data dot age dot mean okay so all the data values have been changed so let's reassign it data is equal to age data of age and if i check the same matrix now for age we have this the same thing can be done for fair so let's do it for fair for fair let's take the median mean median all of these are some of the statistics concept that you might have known from our past courses or you might have known from your school okay so let's check the same thing so you can see that the missing values have been removed now let's look into one more way how to impute the categorical columns so if you see cabin the column cabin that is the feature so it's quite the object we have c105 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, replace all the missing values with some alphabet or some character so let's do it data inside of it let's pass cabin is equal to data cabin and again i'm going to fill the missing values okay 
with the value let's pass the value it's empty i'm just going to pass a string right now but you can pass, pass out anything usually we pass out a character okay now if you check cabin so you can see that all the missing values that it was having it was just showing it's empty if i replace it with let's uh, recall this first of all the matrix okay so there are no missing values right now but let's recall this once more let's rerun this cell copy it out over here and let's again check it it's quite the old thing but if i try to pass out some other thing let's say you so everything has been converted to you that's how we can uh, do imputation method for categorical column and the, and that's it for this video and we have learned a bunch of things so that's uh, if you see into the notes part we have seen into how to handle all the missing values categorical numerical and what is msno msno is something which i extensively use and it's not yet very much famous again there are again a lot of libraries you can use box plot for outliers you can use uh, correlation matrix there are a bunch of ways where you can check it out but this is one of the easiest way and one of the most good looking ways that i feel is helpful to me to get out the missing values so yeah we delete rows with missing values then impute missing values with mean median and then we have imputation method for categorical columns that is it for this video in our next video we are going to start with the next topic that will be working out with the outliers.